Hello and welcome to this lesson, Drinking Coffee, Live Longer, or Drink Coffee and Live Longer. I'm Dr. Priscilla, the founder of Speak Excellent English. Let's begin. According to a 16 year long study, good news is now available for coffee lovers. In fact, the study suggests that drinking three or more cups of coffee a day will contribute to a longer life. Data was collected from more than a million individuals over the age of 35 from 10 European countries. The study showed that those drinking a minimum of three cups of coffee were eight, or were eight to 18 percent less likely to die from health problems in contrast to those individuals that were non-coffee drinkers. Coffee drinkers were observed to have better liver function and a stronger immune system than non-coffee drinkers. Some health professionals suggest health benefits of drinking coffee is not limited to coffee. Rather, coffee drinkers may have more money and can afford to live a healthier lifestyle. In some circles, coffee is considered a social activity. This could contribute to an increase in a person's well-being and a healthier as well as a longer life. The research does not conclusively prove drinking coffee is a concrete health benefit. It is quite possible that drinking too much coffee can have a negative impact on the body, such as panic attacks, heart problems, and insomnia. Now that I have read about drinking coffee, I want us to look together at the vocabulary. We will use this vocabulary as we discuss and talk about the article. Collected, it is an adjective brought together in one place. Data. It is a noun, information collected and assumed as facts. Minimum, the least amount or quantity. Contrast, the state of being strikingly different from something else. Immune, not affected or influenced by something. Afford, to have enough money to pay for something. Impact, the action of one object coming forcibly into contact with another. Conclusively, in a decisive way that has the effect of proving a case. Concrete, it is an adjective, existing in a material or physical form, real or solid, not abstract. Insomnia, it is a noun, habitual sleeplessness, inability to sleep. Now, in this section, this is where you will actually practice speaking. What I want you to do as you watch this program and participate in this lesson is to choose one of these items and I want you to give me your opinion using the vocabulary that is below. Choose any of the vocabulary words below as you answer with a response. Your vocabulary words are contribute, collected, data, minimum, contrast, immune, concrete, and conclusively. If you need to review the vocabulary definitions, 
you can go back and look at the slides with the definition. So you would say something like this. The best thing about coffee is, in my opinion, the best thing about coffee is that it has a great social interaction benefit. So I will choose the social activity as my response. You may choose either of the others, or you can even choose social activity. So in my opinion, the best thing about coffee is the ability to interact and make a valuable contribution to the people that I am interacting with. It takes a minimum amount of effort to engage in conversation if you are interacting with your friends. So that would be my example of how I would use the word, the words minimum and contribute. So those were the words that I used for my response. I used the word contribute and I used the word minimum. You can use as many of them as you can, but the goal is to practice. Here we have our discussion questions. Again, we will focus on the vocabulary words as we make our responses. Do you drink coffee? Yes or no? If yes, how many cups and how often? If no, why not? Are you addicted or do you know someone that is addicted to caffeine? How do you like your coffee or how do you think most people like their coffee? Again, I am not looking or listening for short answers. Your goal is to practice speaking. More discussion questions. Do you think most people drink coffee for the taste or because they need a pick-me-up? Do you think drinking coffee is a good way to increase your concentration? Explain your answer. Do you have a favorite coffee mug? If so, can you describe it? Or can you describe something that you like to use to drink from? Do you have a favorite cafe? Is a cafe a good place to go on a date? Explain your answer. As you stop to ponder and answer the questions, of course you can pause the video. Now let's practice the dialogue. I will read as student A, and I'd like for you to respond as student B. As you are responding, please keep in mind that your voice should articulate the sound of fluency. Continue to practice until you sound natural. Then when we practice together, hopefully you will be able to say most of the sentence correctly without even looking. I will begin the dialogue at the count of three. One, two, three. What did you think of the article about coffee drinking? Actually, I don't drink coffee. I prefer to meditate and eat healthy foods. I do drink coffee occasionally. However, I would never drink three cups of coffee. Ha ha ha. There is no guarantee that I will live longer. However, I might be able to afford to socialize more. My thinking is this. If I can afford to buy coffee, I can afford to buy quality foods, such as vegetables and quality meat. I know. 
The article also collected information from over 10 European countries. This does not account for those people who actually have very little access to a quality life with good food. This is my point. Now, contrast this to those individuals that are non-coffee drinkers. Perhaps these people spend their money on something else. Say, a good breakfast with one cup of orange juice, a fruit, and a light meal such as egg and toast. Of course, I want to live a long and healthy life, but I can afford to live a different life, a different type of lifestyle without coffee. That's a great idea. I don't believe a study can present concrete evidence that coffee is a major contributor to a healthier life. Don't get me wrong, I think drinking coffee occasionally is okay. However, I don't want to take the risk of having a heart attack or suffer from insomnia. See you later. I want to thank you for participating in the activities for learning today. Always remember, work is learning and learning is work. I am Dr. Priscilla, the founder of Speak Excellent English. Bye for now.